What's going on guys, KDG here, back with another video on Tales of Crystoria. In today's video, guys, we're going to be looking at some of the newest things coming to the actual game. It's going to be two new units that you might want to summon for, depending on what you need for your characters um, and for your party and all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and take a look at it right now, not waste any time. Let's get right into it. If the game wants to load, of course, you guys know how this works for me. And I'm on Wi-Fi. <laughs> It is what it is. All right, <clears throat> limited time raid, Jack Deweese. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. We've already seen these numerous times. Um, so we're at the Sacred Defender, Jack Deweese. Um, it's gonna be here with a Mania difficulty, okay. Uh, but available from Wednesday, January 20th through Sunday, January 24th. So obviously you know your four days that you can actually play um, and try to get your essential materials for your characters that are already at max at one level 100. Um, you got three different styles you can play. Style one is gonna be Hero Emblems. You can just do the quest and trade for the Hero Emblems at the Exchange. Style two, Jack Dewey's Magic Cores. Do the actual quest and the raids and you can get Magic Cores used to do the very hard raid. And then style three is gonna be a new limited time raid difficulty, Mania. Now, I'm not sure if you guys are, you know, remember essentially when we first got these raids and it could just be the level that we were at at the time these were extremely difficult like you needed your best party and you needed like the best amount of people to come with you to defeat these guys so i don't know how adding a mania difficulty to this is going to work now granted this was a while ago so you know a lot of things have changed we got a lot more units to come in, uh coming through um, i'm sure we pulled for i hope your party's got a lot stronger etc right i'm just saying <laughs> it might be a little hard <laughs> just saying all right obviously you guys know the crystal shards low vein dragon vein spirit vein and then the fate weaver crystals are going to be needed in order for you to lock all those these uh, ascension boards um for certain types of like three percent attack five percent attack eight percent attack so on and so forth with hp etc right so make sure you guys take the time to do this if you want your characters to hit even harder um, should be left unsaid. I'm pretty sure everybody knows about this. However, if you're new to the game, this is something that you really want to pay attention to if you have those characters that are maxed out and you need to take them to the next level. So definitely check this out. Um, if you can't do the Mania difficulty, obviously guys, you know, come back to it when you can. These are going to cycle through like every single week, every Friday through Monday, essentially. So, um, just be mindful, right? Don't think you have to go for this as soon as possible. Build your team up and get them there that we have the premium summons ssr aizen pirate of the high seas and ssr gaius a mist of uh mist of chaos so let's take a look at this real quick this is like the main reason why i made this video right, once it loads as you guys can see here it's going to be available from thursday january 21st 4 p.m through sunday january 31st so 10 days in total and these characters let's see what they actually do and remember these are always at maximum values um, for both the memorial stone and the character themselves I don't think as you if you pull these guys they're going to be at these uh typical uh thresholds right so looking at aizen pirate of the high seas hp 70,000 <laughs> 7,400 hp attack at 2,000 defense at 764 his memorial stone now the skill is weakness six which gives you a plus 48 percent reduction to the enemy's break age so if you guys are going to be using this unit a lot, it's probably going to be more useful in the raids um, because of the break gauge. I'm sure in the tower as well, but once you beat the tower, that's pretty much it. You pretty much be doing raids for the most part if you finish the story as well. So I consider him a raid unit, well, a raid memorial stone. Now, taking a look at the character, um, HP 24k, attack 3750, defense 2200. He's pretty much a glass cannon, right? Doesn't have high HP values, but has a like a really really high attack stat and the fence is kind of on the low side for my liking at least uh, take a look at the skill here we have at life's helm plus eight percent attack to all allies plus 20 percent plus 20 to the over limit gauge of earth allies when enemy breaks so this could come in handy because when you break an enemy your characters usually get like an extra boost to their over limit gauge and that can come in handy and especially those units that have a high over limit gauge value like 240 this could play a definitive part to kind of get that extra damage and do more damage over time, essentially. All right, looking at the mist, like looking at the arts, you got the mystic art, perfect mayhem. It's physical attack at 370%, hit seven times to one enemy, so single target. 
Part one is last throws as a melee attack at 170, 170% hits three times one enemy. And Draconic Drive, which is a melee attack at 190%, hits three times to two plus enemies and it's AoE. So he's kind of a mixture. He's more of a single target, I would think, for his stronger skills. But I don't know. Uh, Art 2 is AoE, hits 190, 190% uh, to three enemies. I'm sorry, hits three times <laughs> to two plus enemies. Could be three enemies if you, if you hit right in the middle of the other uh, two. So, I mean, that could be something, right? All right, looking at Gaius here. Mist of the Chaos. Memorial Stone, HP 10k, attack 1600, defense 900. With the Memorial School Assault 6, win. Overland Engage with win allies increases by 80 at the start of battle. That's pretty strong. But it's at the start of battle, right? So he's going to be a unit you want to bring to like the story campaigns, or well, this particular memorial stone if you have it maxed out. You want to bring it to story campaigns or just events where you know the aid is going to come in handy from the very beginning. This could be useful in the raids as well because if you have characters that have you know that high 240 overlimit gauge, this gives you an 80 up front, so they're kind of already starting early, right? Looking at the character. HP 22,500, attack 3,800, defense at 2,500. So another glass cannon as well. A um, little bit higher attack stat than, than uh, Aizen. And his HP is a little bit lower. And defense is kind of eh, right? Uh, looking at the skill, I'll take care of this. Plus 5% defense to all allies, plus 15% attack to win allies. So if you're bringing a win team, he could be useful, in my opinion. Now looking at the arts here we have the mystic art absolute domination it's a fa uh, physical attack physical melee attack 380 percent hits nine times to one enemy um, art one demonic wrath it's another melee attack 160 percent hits four times to one enemy and then incineration wave which is another melee attack 120 percent hits 18 times to one enemy so he's going to be a great combo starter that's for sure now with the hunt with the additional effect of art two you get 100% chance to decrease the defense of one enemy by 10% for three turns. That is good because a lot of physical uh, or a lot of damage dealing units don't have a lot of additional effects that either you know make the enemy weaker, make their attack weaker, etc. Right? So this is interesting because you can kind of put him in a certain type of win team that can play off of this, you know, decrease defense of 10%. Uh, if you stack it with another character that can do the same, if you have another support character that can do the same, you know, it can come in handy. So, you know, you gotta play your cards right, see what units work. I don't really have a team composition in my head just yet, if I decide to go for this unit, but just thinking outside the box could, could land you uh, a nice little team around this character. All right, so those are the characters. Let's go ahead and back out of here. Look at the selected summon SSR Asbel. I believe this is the Count, right, if I'm not mistaken? Yep, Count as Bella. Okay, so obviously, guys, you've seen this unit before. He's if you haven't, if you're new, if you haven't seen this unit before. He's one of my favorite looking units. Um, his uh, more stone. Let's take a look at it. HP 5,005, attack 2350, defense 600. So it's not the best more stone, but that assault six sword over gauge, over limit gauge of sword type allies increases by 90 at the start of battle. Like I said, just like. Gaius, this is pretty interesting because you know you can kind of build around that and find units that need that extra boost, right? So, not bad in my opinion. So, you, you know, it's only one turn, unfortunately, at the start of the battle. So, don't think it's something that's going to be reoccurring. But, I mean, that extra little bit of damage you do could be the determining factor. All right, now looking at the actual unit itself HP 2100, attack 3850, defense 2450. So, another glass cannon here seems to be kind of where the direction they're going right now um, the skill dark beckoning plus four percent of defense to all allies plus 15 percent attack to dark allies um, and then the actual mystic arts here i'm sorry the arts here first mystic art bright fire blade which is a melee attack 170 percent hits 10 times to all enemies i'm telling you <laughs> it's not bad 170 170 percent kind of potency is kind of low in terms of like damage but you're hitting all enemies for 10 hits. So he's gonna be a good like combo starter at least, right? With that, just Mystic Art right there. Now Art 1, Wolf Wind Fang. It's a melee attack at 120%, hits six times to one enemy, with 100% chance to decrease defense of one enemy by 20% for 
for two turns. Now, stack this with Gaius, who has the uh, skill two, or his art two, essentially, that has a 10% for three turns, you got 30% for at least two turns. <laughs> so, you see where I'm going here? Like, you can do some, some crazy things with your characters if you're just paying attention to what their additional effects do. All right, art two, Aurora Lotus. It's another melee attack at 130%, hits 12 times to one enemy. Another great, useful art that you can start off with with a combo. So look into that, guys, I'm telling you. Um, additional effect, 100% chance to cast debilitated on one enemy for three turns. Another great way to do extra damage and to prevent the enemy from doing as much damage to you. So, not bad. Um, I mean, this is why I really want it as Bella the Count. <laughs> or Count as Bella, essentially. Just because of these kind of, you know, effects that he brings with his skills. Not a lot of melee damage dealing units bring this type of utility with them. But it's good to see other units kind of have that shine. Especially like different versions of the same unit that's already been released already. So, I'm actually thinking about doing some pulls on this one after, um, if, if, we, if I have some gems left over after finishing up the uh, <laughs> step ups. I need a little bit, couple more Machinas and I'd be happy. But we'll see. And that's pretty much it, guys. I don't want to make this a, too much of a long video. Just want to talk about the newest things coming to the game in the next couple of days. Obviously, you guys know that the SSR, I'm sorry, the New Year's campaign is still happening, as well as the limited quests, um, Anise Pals to and fro, the Transcendence Battle. If you guys haven't done that yet, done that yet, make sure you get on it. Um, and then there's obviously just other campaigns that are currently going on, all the missions that we currently have to try to get some SSR tickets and so on and so forth so anyway like i said i'm going to wrap it up here guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below what are you most excited for are you going to be pulling for aizen and gaius when they actually get released tomorrow i don't know if i am just yet i mean we got 10 days so we'll see how it, how it goes but if you guys are interested in pulling for them i wish you guys luck good luck for it guys um so doing the luck tester like, like obviously that's like the biggest thing right now for me is just trying to get <laughs> more rewards from that <laughs> I want that 100,000 Gleamstone, but you, you, it's not going to happen. Anyway, guys, like I said, wrapping up here, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I've been KDG. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Thanks again for watching, and remember to always walk tall, my friends. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.